network marketing portion of how you can go ahead and get your first a SaaS agency customer for zero dollars. Okay, now, high level agency owners, if you are new to high level, or you heard about go high level, you're like, well, you know, I don't know if high level is okay. I don't know if I'm the kind of person that's gonna use high level. I don't know if I really want to use high level. Well, guess what? It don't matter. Click the link in the description and go get your sign up for high level because you're gonna need a high level. Listen, and if you haven't watched the last three videos that I made regarding how you can get your first customers because guess what they compliment if you don't if you don't watch the last three stop watching this video right now before you stop like and subscribe and then go watch the last three videos okay don't finish this video without watching the last three because you will not understand what i was talking about for just about majority of the other videos okay so do that i see you i see it i see you. i am I'm, I'm i'm literally looking at you right now don't don't but now let's go ahead and talk about network marketing and network marketing and network marketing and networking. Okay, so networking and how does networking help you? Okay, so the other day I was in a conference. I was in a uh, I was in Grand Cardone's 10x Growth Con February 4th. Oh, that was 14. Yes, 14, 16. And I remember I was in a conference and I met phenomenal people. Listen, I remember I paid the cheapest ticket. The cheapest ticket to get in was a thousand bucks. I paid a thousand bucks to get in there. And I remember after I got in. Um, they were like, you know, and as I found out, he paid 35 grand, 5 grand, 20 grand, and then there was a guy that was like, he paid 100 grand for the next few years, and I was like, oh my god, and I was like, I couldn't justify it, I remember I went to this one guy, and I was like, hey man, so, why did you, we were talking, because we were on the same flight together, and I was like, yeah, I was like, hey man, yeah, you want to say flight with me, yeah, so we're talking, I was like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm a diamond member, and he was talking about how he paid 20 grand to get in, right, and I was like, I was like, why'd you pay 20 grand to get in? And then he was like, well, you have to understand something is you pay to be in the room that you're in. You pay, you pay to be in the room. And I said, like, okay, what does that mean? He's like, well, you have to understand, you paid a thousand bucks, right? You pay the cheapest tickets. Yeah, I did. Well, you have to understand, he's like, think about it. The people that are in the same room as you all paid a thousand. Yeah. Well, think about it. That's the base level. Base level. Which means what are your odds how much money do you think you're going to make from being in that room how are you able to add value if somebody everybody else in that room is all thousand dollar pay customers that's like you're right you're all right you're all right yeah and he's like he paid 20 so i was like why'd you pay 20 he's like well i paid 20 you know you have to say it's like look at that guy there's a construction company that does two and a half million a year he's like, look at that guy that guy does about 4.7 million that guy does this this guy we have one billion here but he's not in our group. I met the guy. He's not in our group. He's in a different group. And I was like, <laughs> damn. Reason being is this. Now, your customer, if you are in a B2B business, if you're in a SaaS agency, you need to go to B2B conferences. You need to network conferences. And if you, if you watch the last video where I said, identify your target audience. If my target audience is real estate agents, where should I go? Where should I go? I'm going to ask you again. Where should I go? If my target audience is real estate agents, where should I go? I'm saying it again, where should I go? Real estate conferences. So I go to real estate conferences because that is where they are. That is where they are. I go to real estate conferences and I'm like, hey, we start talking because guess what? You, you, when you ask, when you're interested in people, they automatically become interested in you, right? When you're like, hey, what do you do? I'm a real, how long have you been a real estate agent? Oh my God, dude, have you read this book on real estate? Have you done this on this? Have you done this on that? Have you done this on this? I'm like, whoa, yeah, that's, that's crazy, you know? You're right, you're right. Actually, you know, I haven't checked this out. I haven't checked this out. And then they ask you, what do you do? And then you're like, well, I specialize in helping real estate agents get more showings. And then they're like, you just told the real estate agent, I specialize in helping real estate agents get more showings. Just, just think about it. Imagine if I went to an insurance agent and I'm like, hey, I specialize in helping insurance agents get more funds to the calendar. They're like, bro, I'm an insurance agent. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. You have to understand your pitch should be so short. Like when people ask you, what do you do? Well, you know, we build this, we build construction, we build those, we build. No, simple word. When someone asks you what you do, I specialize, repeat after me, okay? We're gonna swear it all right now. I specialize in helping target customer achieve desired results. That's your pitch, elevator pitch. I specialize in helping target customer achieve desired results. You're not gonna say I own a software company. That's stupid. Don't say that. Okay? I let's say you're a HVAC, okay, or you are a you know plumber, right? 
I specialize in unclogging toilets of high income business earners. They're like, fuck it. <laughs> Part of my French there. But they're like, what? 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 It's uh, in high income earners on your toilets? You'd be like, yes. Yes. When you make over a specific amount of money, the poop is different. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get back to reality. I specialize in helping target customer achieve desired results. That's it. Doesn't matter what you do. Okay. If you in medical sales, oh, I have medical sales. No. I specialize in helping seniors get pacemakers. Or oh, I specialize in helping seniors stay alive by getting a pacemaker. Right? Simple. But you have to go to the network marketing conference. When they ask what you do, tell them I specialize in helping you basically get desired results. They're like, whoa, you just pitched me, bro. Yeah, absolutely. It's a giant pitch. I just pitched you. Simple. One. Done. What's the next thing you do after you get your contact? This is where it gets better. A lot of people are like, well, what do I do once I get the number? Do I follow it up? You know, this is something like a first day. Like, you know, do I text first? Do they text first? You know, and then where do, we, where do we go the first time? You know, am I paying for drinks? Am I paying for dinner? Am I doing? No, stop, 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 stop overthinking it. When you get the contact number, right after you get the contact number, you're gonna say this. Hey man, text me what real estate market you're targeting and I'm going to send you a proposal as to how I can get you more closings. Or hey, hey man, what zip code and what area are you in? And I'm gonna show you how we can get you more showings for that target audience. It's simple, give them a task. You have to understand something. Stop asking people, when are you available to talk? When are you available? Listen, from when you were an infant or a child, you were trained to follow instructions. And you have to put your, it doesn't matter if they're making more money than you, okay? It doesn't matter, take that out of your head. It doesn't matter if they're richer than you, it doesn't matter. Simple, say one simple thing. Hey, listen, uh, send me a text with the industry targeted, what area and what zip code you typically sell it, and I'll send you a proposal for how we can get you more showings on there. And once they actually take the first step, then you go ahead and say, okay, good. Then you go ahead and go and write a proposal on how you can get the more showings. Chad GPT can write you the proposal. Tell you the step-by-step -step guide. Make a video about it saying, hey, listen, this is the step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. And then send it. That's it. Network marketing. That's it. That is completely it. How you can network in network marketing events. Stop this whole nonsense. Get your contact. Give them a task to do. Give them a job. Because you don't want to work with people that are time wasters. Let me tell you one thing, and one thing I do is I give people, and I give them a proposal, and they're like, hey man, and then I remember a guy asked me, he goes, so man, when are you available to start on this project? I'm like, I can't. He's like, why? I was like, honestly, man, I have a waiting list. I can't. I just wanted to see how I can help you. You can do it yourself, but if you want, I can put you on a waiting list. I should be available in three weeks. And, and you're like, you just told the customer to wait. 100%. Stand on the waiting list, because guess what? I have customers that I'm working with that I need to get their projects. I am very much a detailed person. I don't like to do this whole blah, 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 blah. I'm detailed. I focus on this person's task. You want to wait with If you want to go walk off and get some service somewhere else, that would be fun. The whole thing is I'm a personal relationship kind of person. I want to believe that I've built a strong relationship with you and you want to keep the business with me. And if you want to, sure. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. It's a free world. You can go wherever you want to go. Stop being in this scarcity mindset. I'm a marketer, so I know for every one customer I lose, I can get 10 more. But the beauty is I don't like losing customers. But I also want to make sure that I am in a personal relationship with the people I work with, okay? Because I'm actually expending the most valuable thing I have is time, not money. And if I'm going to spend time on your project, I want to make sure you're somebody I want to work with. Most people make these mistakes of working with different clients that actually don't end up benefiting them or benefiting your business and then they end up complaining in the future. Oh, my customers suck. Oh, my customers. No, your customers don't suck. You just chose the wrong customers. If you got in a relationship and got married and then your wife left you and then you're like, oh my God, my wife is in this, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, oh no, because you didn't vet her properly. You did not see that you guys had aligned values. If you went in a business partner that ends up stabbing you in the back and you're like, well, my business partner sucks. Never gonna... No, you just didn't vet them properly. If you have a customer that keep canceling, you just didn't vet them properly. That's pretty much it. Stay tuned. And next thing. Listen, we're not done yet because guess what? You might be reading the screen and thinking, oh yeah, you know, man, so what's next? Listen, I'm gonna be talking about a bonus content as to how you can create lead magnets. How to create lead magnets that will get customers into your SaaS agency. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Guess what? Listen, I'm a comedian and I like telling jokes. And if you don't like it, unsubscribe. If you like it, stay subscribed. And I'll see you guys in a future video, but that's pretty much it for this four part series. 
And remember, the next video is coming up soon, guys. And for that, I say, adios. Sayonara.